Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Welcome, welcome your faces to Tectonica. Again, we have covered in the past with only a few episodes back in July, August this time, when it comes to early access. But since then, there's been a few major updates. One being the base building update, which as you know, as a lover of factory games and a lover of base building, this is perfect for me. So I wanna welcome you to episode one of series one of Tectonica. But within the base building update, we've also got some new machines like the blast melter and the blast drill, new materials and loops. We've also got a new production terminal called X-Ray so we can advance our production even further. We also have some new voice narratives for the story. We've got some new caverns, abandoned facilities, a ton of floors, walls, catwalks, railings, and deco pieces. So I cannot wait to jump into this, but I want to give a massive shout out to Firehose Games for sponsoring this first episode of this series. So thank you so much, and I'll put a link in the description and also in the pinned comment where you can pick up the game on Steam for your faces to jump in the factory as well. But also, if you have the Xbox PC Game Pass, it's also available on there. So go and give that a link, a click, check out the game. And if you like what you see in today's video, make sure to like, subscribe, and also leave a comment, even if it's just a bloody emoji. Right, so we're also now in game. We can see we've just come out of this little Your cryopod, it seems. Diagnostic, Diagnostic failure. failure. Report to medical officer for <laughs> unknown. Medical officer for unknown reasons. But we can already see the bioluminescence of this. And unfortunately, we can already see some clipping. So whichever developer built this little section here, I need words because this is unforgivable. Okay, so we've got a chest with some emergency supplies in it. So shift click these over. I'm trying to get, I need to remember like all the controls and everything for this. So let's grab this as well and we can start hacking away at this terrain. Because for those that don't know, there is a whole terrain manipulation in this. Uh, we can remove this like it is a um, pre-built world. It's not randomly generated because obviously with the story, um, that's all in place. Uh, they kind of need to be within the designated zones. But oh boy, Hello? can you hear me? Here we go. Hi, Sparks. Your suit can't transmit a voice or ID signal, but my sensors are indicating you're out there. First things first, check in at that production terminal. I need a second set of eyes on how badly damaged it is. This has changed. Something about this is different. Do you know when you you play the game for a while, but then you, you come back to it after a, a, a few weeks or a few months, and you look at it and you're like, something's different. I feel like something's different. So we've got tasks and tips. Inspect the production terminal Lima. So let's head back down here again. This is where we're going to get our uh, little scanner thing, isn't it? So we need to repair the terminal, but we need 15 copper ore and 15 iron ore. And this is over here. We've got some copper over here. Mining drills were the only buildable tech I could recover. Try crafting a few with materials from some of the chests around here. Oh, yeah, yeah. We've already got some buildable pieces, haven't we? We can actually build four of them. Let's get two of them down. We'll place one down here at the copper. And we'll place one at the uh, iron. So we can just place you down just there. Mining drill. And we'll place the Must second one down over here at the iron. And it automatically kind of rotates as well. We'll get that down. We need to get some fuel, which of course, we're going to grab some little biomass here. And then we can place that into there to get that powered. So now we should be getting some iron. And then we can do the same with the copper. Now we've just got to wait for this to give us enough iron so during that time i'm going to grab some more biomass just you know so we can be prepared for more machines and all that kind of good stuff the problem is as well with me reduce we're grabbing the uh the biomass supplies here uh i am removing the foliage which is providing me with light so um yeah that's a bit of a pickle but i've also forgot there's some storage here she literally just told me as well but since she told me last time it's been about 20 minutes because i've been grabbing all this biomass stuff and we've also got a chip there. Oh, we need to scan that, don't we? Okay, how much iron have we got now? We've got 30 in the iron. And then we've got 31 in the copper. So we then put that, this into this machine. Where then we can repair that terminal. Good work getting that ore plugged into the terminal, ground Nice. Maker. If you weren't on my crew, you should have been. For the next phase of repairs, you're going to need a scanner. The tech for it unlocked automatically when you fix this thing. So open up your crafting menu and build one. Equipment, scanner, and grab one. 
this, so this has changed. We never used to make this before. It used to open a little container here, a little storage box. So now we can start scanning things. The scanning's a little quicker as well. And this will start eliminating, like, the stuff here. So if I scan this, we can see it pop up saying we've got one of two long inserters found. So if we scan another one, we then unlock that recipe. So if we start scanning everything around here that's not, like, usable, we'll get, we'll get supplies, but then we'll also get some recipes to unlock. And then we can open the tech tree, and we can see that we need basic science. Uh, we need five, which right down here, we can see the cores. We've got zero pink and zero blue. Uh, and we need to actually make more of them. Um, so we can see now we've got Lima, Victor, and X-Ray, which is the, the latest update. Um, so I've never been to that one. I've been to Victor before, but I've never been to X-Ray. So I'm curious on that location. Warning. Research cores required oh. for activation of new technologies. Refer to Tech Tree for current core manifest. So here's some of the five we've already got. Some cases here as well. So let's grab everything that's in here. I'm just wondering, can I... Can I remove these? I don't think I can. So I'm going to erase that miner because what I want to do is I want to make uh, one, two, three more. Uh, actually, no, I need to make another one than that, right? So I want three on this iron and I want three on the copper. So that's three on the iron. And let's fill that one with fuel, this one with fuel, and then this one with fuel. Get them moving and grooving. And then let's go and get the same with the copper. One, two, three. Place three of them down. Put half of that fuel in there. Stack of fuel in there and a stack in there. So I do need to get some more biomass. But now we've got more iron uh, and copper being made. I just need more biomass. Right, so now let's make the five research um, cores. And then we'll just place them in here with the other ones. And then that should give us... Actually, Research I got more than I thought. Smelter technology available for activation in Tech Tree. We still need 20 ingots and thing. Okay, so I need, still need to make the ingots to upgrade that. Right, so let's open the Tech Tree and unlock the smelter. So then we've got that. So we can see we've already got the... Um, the basic manufacturing. We've also got the basic science. Then up here, how much stuff has been added to the X-ray? It looks like, oh, there's quite a few items. Whoa. So, Victor has given us everything from this line here all the way up to here. And then we've got the new building, which is the X-ray building, which is all of this stuff right here, which there's quite a bit. So, I'm going to guess a lot of this stuff is going to be like Technology Mark 2, Mark 3 stuff. Proceed with construction of smelter. Okay, so we need to make the, some more smelters. Um, so we, need to, we can place six. I guess we can just do... Let's just do all six. Because we're going to need them anyway. You've activated the smelter tech, but you still need to build one and place it. Task inbound. And smelter. then we'll just place three down Supply there like this. I also need to put some fuel Requires into these. Well, let's just kind of fuel one of them at least split that into there and then put you into that side and then we don't have conveyor belts yet but what i can do is i can just quickly throw some iron into there and i'll throw some copper into there uh, and then kind of do that for now and i guess we can just kind of just throw more iron into this one and then until we can get the uh the grabbers to grab it out the machine put it onto a belt and then we'll get it sent into these smelters but now we're just going to wait for this to do because we need 20 ingots and 20 copper ingots right so after about 15 minutes I've managed to get 108 iron and 51 copper. But I've also been around and got a lot more biomass, as you can tell right here. New technology available. Simply a maximized production terminal. We need to get some containers, some inserters, some more iron ingots, some more copper ingots, and 45 conveyor belts. So now, if we have a look into our tech tree, do we need to put some more... I do basic logistics, which we've automatically been given. So if we go into our build menu, we can now see we've got conveyor belts, we've got some inserters, and we've got some storage. So I'm thinking what we're going to do first is we're going to make... Uh, let's go with just 
two smelters for now because can we see uh the metrics far in here i don't think we can just yet so we're going to need some inserters i think if i'm not mistaken we can press shift and it'll do five uh, no sorry right click we can do five and we can do shift left, left click to do ten uh so let's get uh, as many conveyor belts as we're going to need then grab us more much more copper grab some more iron and more iron from that one and then we can place some conveyor belts along here like this and we're going to rotate it to go this way take it across all three of them just Cash like that and belt. then we're going to grab the grabbers to, build to grab machines. from machine to put Inserters into the oh, gra grab from the belt into the machine then just like that but these oh i need to grab the uh thingy don't i need to get them from the machine to the belt there we go just like that we grab out bada bing bada bosh bob is your uncle so now we can see the ore coming along the belts and oh you got copper in there haven't you let's just remove that from there and that should replace let's top these up with more fuel just like that and then we should be good so we can already see that we're overproducing the iron compared to what we, you know, we can smelt in the smelters. What's going on here? Oh, we have one there. Right, so as you can see, I've now put this little system down. We've got some grabbers grabbing the uh, iron ingots, placing them on the belts, and then the grabbers take them into this little storage container right here. Uh, and I've kind of done a little bit over here similar, uh, which technically I've not powered these. I didn't even realize it because why? I'm a spoon. Oh, I need more biomass. Of course I do. Let me split that down there and at least get these uh, copper up and running like so. And we're going to do that. I don't have the foundation just yet because um, placing the belts here, uh, a little bit of a problem because it's down below. Um, so I can't do anything with that just yet. Right, but I think we've now got the next objective to do. So we've got enough for all of these to get put into here. And then we can upgrade the terminal once more. New technologies now available. Beacons are back online. Inspect the radio console right next to the screen. It'll start beeping and blinking in three, two... The radio one. console next to the screen. Signal triangulated. New location added to HUD. Live sign. Access to all local oh. should be restored, including the one. Okay, so we need to head down here now. Time. I think this is where I we get the mole gun. To the door. I've got some tech you're gonna like, and I know you wouldn't dream of leaving without me, anyways. Here it is. So we head into here. Sending that signal was like a little abandoned, abandoned facility. I don't know why, but these computers feel like second nature now. Sort of the opposite of what I remember it being like. I'd be the one to get you out of a situation like this instead of the other way around. But I'm not giving up. That's how I know it's still me in here. You'll see. There it is behind that gate. But we can't get into it yet. Oh god. Heading into the darkness. What do we have in here? I don't remember any of this. Casualties detected. Oh, it was definitely here, but I just can't remember it. What? You've never seen someone stuck inside an alien cube next to their own dead body before? Whatever I was trying to do here, I'm gonna take a wild guess and say it didn't work out. Hopefully, it was worth a shot. Let's go. The big old cube. Autobots roll out. <laughs> It's like, it's like the, the Tesseract as well from Avengers. Stop. Oh. Scan the fragment in that cage by the stairs before we go. We'll need that tech to get out of the sector. Yes. The mall. Upgrade module scanned. Additional tech tiers or cores may be required. Open tech tree to review. Tech tree. Long inserters filter inserters and we can see right there because that we need six pieces we need to find six filter inserter um scan them to actually unlock that and then we still need to obviously find uh sector victor to unlock this section here but we have got long inserters now so let's head out of here and activate the mall on the tech tree wait did i miss the mall oh i've totally forgot about all these tabs oh my god betsy I totally forgot all of these have different tabs. Wow. 
Wow. Okay, because there's the basic construction as well. Right, let's get the mall. So we need to get three science packs for that. And for me to get that, I need to go and place these science things I've got down here. Uh, well, these uh, into that little pile I've been, uh, been building Local up. Local signal deciphered. Sector headquarters. Report to production terminal radio for triangulation. Sounds like the terminal is fully rebooted. Check the radio console again and see if the beacon it adds to your HUD gives us a clear path home. So let's go in here and add our little research balls to our stack. Which means if we go into here, we've now got seven. So let's unlock that. Uh, we can also look into decomposition on oh, the planters. Yes, yes, yes. This is what we need to automate fuel. Because we get some decomposition, we then get the planter. And then the planter then outputs, like, uh, the seeds and stuff from the biomass. Manipulates terrain for traversal and composition of industrial construction sites. So let's make the mall. That's currently being crafted. And then check this radio frequency. I've already got one. Don't worry. Bulletin. This mall is not authorized to destroy resources, critical yes. infrastructure, or protected environmental areas. Now we can just start terrain manipulating. I never got the chance to thank you for getting me out of that facility. You're welcome, Sparks. Appreciate it. At the time, it seemed like the best thing to do was focus on work and not get caught up in thinking about anything else. I've tried to stay sharp for both of us, but now that we're almost back to the main line, I'll admit it. I was terrified. It'll be good to see some friendly faces. I love the voice actor who does sports. Lights. I'm sure you've got people there too. Right, we must be getting closer to the edge now. We can see on the map that I'm about to break through this wall. But I don't know if I'm on the right level, if I'm up high, if I'm below it. Or what, but should be. There it is. I, I don't understand. A factory the size of a city is supposed to be here. Whoops. It was right here. Look at this. I know it was. Where is everybody? Victor. Good little bit of lore there. So we're expected to meet people here, but even she was surprised. So now, welcome to location Victor. Beautiful place. Obviously, we've been here before and uh, started to set up the basics of our foundation and like our permanent factory and stuff. So we've got that pro... I keep... This is where pipes go in, right? Pipes and so many different slots we can put everything in, but it's a lot more biomass around here we can collect as well. So let's head over here and scan this and see what's in here. Oh. We'll take all of them and some foundations. Is that some stairs as well? Wait a minute. Oh, they've actually added stairs now. I'm pretty sure they wasn't in last time. I don't remember these being in. Those stairs conduct power the same way floors do, Breaker. Might not sound like high technology. Oh my God. They, yeah, they finally added them. Because before, what we had to do is we had to um, grab the blocks, the foundation blocks build them down like this yeah 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 we had to do it this way before to transfer power from the foundation here to take it up but now they've got stirs oh my god that makes me so happy because if you know you know what a pain that was but let's talk to the service uh we need to add 490 iron ingots and 490 copper ingots and kindle vine stems 90. This is different. I'm pretty sure we never used to add the stems to this. So it's good to see there's a lot of changes elsewhere. This terminal is trying to reach out to a hundred facilities that Whoa. might not exist anymore. If we can repair it, we might be able to decipher where those facilities are located. Okay. Our people are out there, just like we were. I wouldn't ask you to rebuild this sector for the expedition, but I will ask you to do it for them. The faster we get on these signal and repair objectives, the better our chances of finding them will be. Right now, you should either get started on a local mining operation to make ingots, or start looking into how to make those Kindle Vine stems. If you check the chest near Victor, you might find enough power floors to decipher the first signal. We definitely need new types of machines to make the goods this terminal's looking for, and those signals seem like our best shot at finding them. 
Yep, we've got a quite a bit to do. So we have quite a few tasks in here and we can we can see deciphering the signal. We've kind of done them. We've also got planter orientations, filter inserter orientations, all this kind of stuff, recommended NTOs. And then we've also got the stuff we've already done down here uh, and all that kind of good stuff as well. Primary work order, repairing production terminal victory is what we're currently working on. Constructing power floors is what we've just been instructed to do. Uh, and yeah, so let's crack on with the next project. Right, so I think the first plan of action is to go back to the iron and the copper setup that we have and grab everything from over there and bring it all over here and get a production system over here so we don't have to keep running backward and forward and then use this as some form of expansion base later on. So we're literally just going to delete... I don't think I've got mass delete yet. I think it's an unlock we need to get. So that's the copper gun and then start getting rid of the iron and then take that all the way to our location victor and set it back up again in a more organized fashion so let's start clearing out an area and then i'm going to start exposing the iron a bit more so we know where the end of it is which i think it might just be here yes yeah, so that's where it ends right there and let's start exposing it on this side as well because it means we can kind of get like a we know where the end of the actual thing is and maybe the oh so it doesn't go for a far as i thought it would do so that means now i know i can just take the foundation up from this area to that area so let's just clean the area up, up a little bit so i'm gonna start lawn mowing the grass start getting rid of all the flowers that we don't need and then we've got a cleaner area and then just literally start placing the foundations down local signal deciphered ingress rh1979 Report to production terminal radio for triangulation. Like so. And then I can kind of just place down these little lights right now. So we have a little bit of light in the area. Right, so then you start placing the miners down. But I've kind of left them a little bit of a gap so it's kind of tidier over here. Or I'm thinking I might have to push them forward. They will extend, but I don't know how far they'll extend. So I guess that's something we can kind of science. So if we put some fuel in here, that will power, right? Oh, this might actually be too far away. Rip. Or is it because of this in the way? No? Right, so it does turn out that they was a little bit too far away. So I've moved them all up a little closer. And hopefully that works. The only problem is, though, is I'm looking at this. I'm thinking I might need some more um, space just because we have these inputs here and two inputs here so i don't know if we need two outputs i don't know how much these produce it doesn't tell us how much now this is producing per minute so now we put the belt down as well we've got the grabbers pulling the ore out we just now need to make more foundations so i can stop putting the smelters down but if i'm not mistaken i don't think i've unlocked them i haven't so let's get them unlocked go into our build menu and go to base building we can see we can make quite a bit so i'm gonna get them going and make a, a few hundred um so that's gonna be crafting for a while so i think i might have to leave this afk <laughs> to get all this built uh, and then i can start placing all of this down right so after a little bit of playing around this is kind of optimization i've come up with so far we have the obviously the iron coming down here but then we've got two grabbers taking it into the smelter because when you only have one um by the time this you know creates its iron ingot it's running out of iron ore which means we need to create a better input hence the reason i added another one which then we are now over filling the machine because it's not making them fast enough so i've had to eliminate a smelter from the end here to keep this optimized and the belt keep moving so it's not stacking up so this is what i've kind of gone with i've gone with four uh, smelters well four uh, sorry extractors going into three smelters which then come out here and go into this one storage container and as you can see i've got 270 already in here and i need to sort this out like asap but then i've also been extending the foundation along here as we can see we're going a lot further it is taking its time to actually craft these i will eventually um get all of these foundations like um automated so we don't have to handcraft stuff because we can handcraft uh, everything uh, and we can automate everything as well so uh, i want to kind of head up here now to head to that copper and start the production on that so i think that might be a good height there for the stirs and then we'll take this foundation along here oh it looks like we might be one higher 
Are we one higher? Yeah, we are one higher. Let's take it down by one then. Just like that. But what I'm going to do is before I put these foundations down here, um, one thing I've noticed is if I was to put the foundations over these uh, biomass here, it's actually going to remove them. So we need to make sure we collect these beforehand, otherwise we're permanently going to lose them, and that's, you know, biomass we could be using to power our machines. So grab all these, lay the foundations down, put the copper set up. Done. Bob's your uncle. Then also scan these so we can get some lights. Okay, so now the copper is up and bloody running. But I need to correct myself from earlier and address some people's comments they might have already commented about bits. When you were sorting out the smelters, you put two on the inputs of these smelters, but you didn't take into consideration the miners are actually filling up as well. So what I've done is I've put the two um, grabbers and taken them onto the belt uh, at a two times speed because I was taking a closer look when I was looking at the copper and it seems that these grabbers here are not taking out the copper fast enough by the uh, by the speed of it uh, extracting so when it was taking out one two was getting input into here so it looks like we might have found the right balance at the minute so right now we can see that the copper is coming down here but over here in the iron setup I've fixed it as well by adding another smelter. Um, so now, but it is by, kind of backing up a lot quicker. And that is just because um, I've just added all the um, grabbers from the miner to the belt. And these are full up a lot more than what the copper ones are. Uh, and I didn't set up the additional smelter. So this is kind of backlogged right now. And it might look like, like, like well, look like that for a while now. Uh, until it kind of slowly trickles away. But... At least we have the iron set up and we also now have the copper set up. So now we need to look into possible Kindle Vine. And in Kindle Vine, we need to go into our tech tree and have a look at the whole system here. So we need to find some planters, which means we need to go on a bit of, well, an exploration. And we have been given a signal. So I want to go and check out this little exclamation mark that wants my attention and see what it requires. So let's get this signal data. Triangulated. New location added to HUD. New location added to the HUD. Huh? Oh, R H. Okay, so that's through this wall here. So I'm thinking we just get a foundation along here and then take this this way and open up a hole in the wall, maybe? Let's kind of get that. Then let's kind of get our mole. Start heading through here. Can I get rid of that? Oh, we did. There we go. It was on a lower level. Oh. Hey, a battery hey. pack. Sorry, an accumulator substation. I'll try to go easier on the recon slang. It might help you guess at what those signal names are short codes for. Accumulators won't matter for a while, but get in the habit of scanning anything and everything you find in places like these. It can only help. Battery packs. So we can... We need to get a... Uh, some form of... Battery... Some uh, automate, automatic power generation. Which, if I'm not mistaken, there is water... Like, higher... Water pumps. So let's just kind of scan all of these that we don't... Are inoperable. You're working. All these are working. Can we remove these? Okay. Oh, we can't actually remove these. Why? We've also got this as well. Can't do anything with that. But we do have a building here. If anyone else is still around, they wouldn't be here. These places were pretty much built and left alone. Oh, scan complete. Mole speed two. There. This is what I was talking about. These here. Crank generators. What's that? A hover pack. Tech now available in the tech tree. This sector was a dream come true for hydroelectric power. It isn't surprising that we took accumulator construction seriously down here. I faintly remember power sources in other sectors that were even stronger, but they also tended to do things like explode, set things on fire, create giant clouds of poison. You get the drift. You can't go wrong with a good old-fashioned river. 
Damn, look at the size of this thing. So, we I need to scan this. I'm not, I thought I actually scanned it. That's the Kindle vine, yeah. So we need to start making the Kindle vine um, saplings and automating some biomass that way, right? But we still need to add to this RH over here, which is through this wall here. Is this a river on the opposite side of this wall? There's only one way to find out. It's just to bust our way through it. And yes, it is. And there's more things to scan, more things for us to collect. High voltage cables. Wait, maybe it's not pipes that go into the terminals then. Maybe it's these. Okay. Is there anything else we can unlock around here? These are blue ones. Shiver thorn seeds. So wherever we need to go is still through this way. Might have to make a hole through this wall here. Bada bing, bada bosh. I think we have found the entrance. We have. Scan this. Hello? Door unpowered and secured. Door. Unpowered. Oh, pack size 2 taken available in the texture. How do I power this door? Can I use a crankshaft? Can I use one of these? Task inbound. Crank generator. Activate with manual or automated rotation to produce electricity. <laughs> oh Power my god, restore. we can. The planters. Yes. Jackpot. A warehouse. I knew that gigantic door was a good sign. Scan this place for some basic electrical machines, especially those planters and threshers on the racks, and pick up anything else you can find. Scan everything. So these are the threshers. Then we've also got some maybe speed grabbers. Filter inserters. So with the filter inserters, we can choose what um, items they pick up. And then we've got... Oh, the filter inserters are purple ones. Wait, so the red ones... What are the red ones? Oh, it is a speed insert. Anything inside these? Saying that, though, my inventory is kind of full. What is that? Monorail system. The thing is, I'm scanning all of these because if we don't need the tech from anymore, we actually pick up the components for them. So it's like easy farming for higher tier components that we can't... Well, we can automate now, but it's good just to kind of collect everything. Okay, what's up these stirs then? It's just dead end for all of this stuff. Oh, a chest. Whoa. Silver thorn coolant and some conveyor belts. 400 to be in fact. Mold temperature calibrated. Auto injection of coolant standing by. Oh, it's a coolant for your mole. Uh, can I get out of here now? How do I get out of here? Can I get up there? Hello? <sighs> oh, there, I can get up there. Hold. I need 10 processor units Cash and it will open it. Supply facility access door with self-repair materials. Look through the window breaker. I can literally see the mining charge tech fragment on Wait, the table. What kind of miserable bureaucrat puts high explosives behind a securely locked door? You think we would be here if we didn't know what we were doing? I want you to fix that door as soon as possible. I want you to blow things up. <laughs> I want to blow things up as well, but next time, don't give me that attitude. What is that? Atlanta. This is literally a whole plantation, like a little mini factory here. Okay. Another research ball thing. Scan two out of four research. Blue. Conveyor belt mark twos. My inventory is so close to filling. Okay. Right, yeah, let's head back because my inventory is overloaded. Then I'm going to come back here and uh, see what else we can grab from all of this because there's all the machines up there, all that. There's so much, so much supplies. And I need to make sure I crank that again. Otherwise, the door might close on me. So let me just put down a couple of storage containers. Just throw some stuff in here. 
and then just head back and then go and grab what we need. HUD signals on facilities. Are, okay, yeah. How long has that been on screen? I've just not noticed. So I can, I can remove these pin messages. But I do want to get a planter or, or, uh, orientation up. So I do want to kind of get that. And then we can start scanning these again to get just some supplies. Lots of good tech fragments here, but I doubt we'll find anyone to rescue. People would take what they needed and get back out there. Oh, it's good to check these storage containers as well because there's some stuff in there. Get the ones upstairs as well. And then there's also a door here, which I'm guessing needs the same access. But we can't access it from here. We need to go from the other side. So I think we're new enough done with it. I can't scan any because of the windows. Wait, did I get that? I did. Okay, so I think I've drained this room with what's eligible. Then we just need to make the items it required over there. So let's get back to base and continue with maybe looking at getting some plant set up. Right, so let's go back into our storage here. And then let's grab the stuff like uh, these piece, this be, these buildable pieces here. Because I have a feeling these might be useful in case we need to handcraft something. We've got seeds and everything down here. Let's grab some biomass as well. Because we're going to need them. Uh, and we need to place down the research cores. Um, so we need to place them somewhere. But we are making quite a bit of iron. And also some copper. And then if we go into our tech tree and go back into synthesis... We can now see we need to place down the three... Oh, well, I need three more cores to unlock the planters. I'm going to guess it's going to be the same for this stuff as well. So we can make some research things here. So let's make a couple of them. Yes. Okay. I was just looking because I remember last time I was playing, we was able to put these research uh, balls onto like a, a platform. Um, I think that's in research, but I don't see it unless it's in station victor which means we need to unlock this um, i know for a fact we have the copper the ingots but i don't think we have the kindle stems but i could be mistaken so what i'm going to do for now is i'm just going to put down these just in this location here like so i don't realize how big these balls are do you like they're pretty huge there we go and then we can just have them there like that which means we've now got 31 cores i just realized i'm calling them balls and not cores <laughs> and now if we go into synthesis we can now get the planter down unlock the thresher the kindle vine threshing the stem threshing and then the plant matter frames as well so we need to look into all of that task inbound planter oh. supply with seeds to rapidly reproduce fully grown flora Electrical power required. Electrical power required. Thresher. Supply with resources to produce a variety of organic goods. Electrical power required. Right, so after clearing some space here, we now need to put down the power and then the planters. But I'm actually going to save that until next time. So thank you so much for watching and make sure you check out my other content right here. And as always, keep bloody smiling.